Yet another coastal storm looming. Officials on Long Island are urgently calling on the federal government to shore up the coastline to reverse erosion that's threatening recreational beach facilities. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff got a first-hand look at the damage that spans several townships. The playground at Babylon's Overlook Beach has never been closer to the ocean. It hasn't moved. The shoreline has in storm after storm. Town officials say the whole beach facility is in danger of being erased. We're at DEFCOM 5, red alert. We need all the help that we can get from our state and federal partners. Though the town has trucked in 100 million cubic yards of sand, over 500 feet of the beach has disappeared in a decade. A call today from Long Island leaders for the Army Corps of Engineers to address a real crisis. And it's uh, startling to know that the definition of the Army Corps of Engineers doesn't consider this emergency. The Army Corps has several sand replenishment projects underway, but not all ocean beaches qualified after Superstorm Sandy. Leaders call it a patchwork approach. We're tired of hearing, well, we have to do another study and another project. We're losing our beaches. We need the help right now. All this sand is removed. This was four or five feet higher. And if these dunes go, then the highway goes. Oyster Bay Supervisor Joe Saladino shows us dunes at Tobey Beach dramatically diminished. The integrity of the beach pavilion in jeopardy. The waves are breaking under the pavilion. And you can see where the water has reached sand packed into this pedestrian walkway and carving a breach into the dunes near Gilgo. I think nature is winning. They just keep on patching up. Doesn't put in sand, doesn't work, you know. They're going to have to dredge. Officials call for more regular dredge. An Army Corps spokesman says projects are usually on a three to four year schedule and have to be half funded by municipalities. Governor Hochul has made the request for emergency assistance. Late last year, the Army Corps of Engineers rejected requests to expand its sand replenishment programs here. The agency now says it's reconsidering. In Babylon, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. And we have continuing coverage throughout the night. You can always find the latest forecast and track of the storm on our website, cbsnewyork.com.